Hey, good morning. Horticulturist Gary Bachman. It's time for another daily dose of hort. Well, you know, a couple weeks ago, talked about, you know, putting um, the fire ant baits out to keep the fire ants out of your yard. Well, need to address the situation when fire ants get into containers, which we have a lot of containers here. And so I was out this morning with um, my Duet Beautyberry, which is, by the way, the variegated beautyberry that I found. And you see all these weeds that are in the pot. And so I was in here taking the, taking the weeds out, and lo and behold, you know what's in this pot? Fire ants. And it was a good thing I had my farmer armor on because they were, <laughs> they were all over me. Um, so, how do we take care of fire ants in pots? The simplest way I, I find is using spinosad. It's an organic insecticide that works very well as a drench for fire ants in containers. And it's, and it's really effective when we're dealing with fire ants in um, containers that have edible plants because they're, it's labeled for use with edibles. So just, just to give you a little bit of an idea what we're dealing with here, I'm gonna pick this pot up Hopefully they won't bite me again. And Kate's gonna come in. And here, see, see those ants down there? Just hold it steady right there, Kate. Those are, those are fire ants. We can see the um, kind of the soil here, how loose it is. That's a good indication that there's fire ants in your container. So what I'm gonna do, well, let's see here. Can we, uh, no, it's too dark in there. Anyways, so what we're going to do is drench this, and it's a simple four tablespoons per gallon of water. And I'm, I'm just going to take this, and I'm going I'm to drench this pot. And I'm going to drench it until water comes out the bottom. I'm going to do it like that. Now, I've, I've got I've to stand up because I'm going to make them mad. And I'm going to... I'm going to I'm going to take care of the um, ants that are here on the sidewalk. They're coming up through the cracks here on the porch, and I'm also going to come over here. and Here's a here's a mound, probably the main mound where they came from, and do do this. You know, I, I don't I don't like to do you know the um, the, the the mound treatments and just because i think it's easier to use the area baits but here was a situation where the air you know the ants escaped the area bait so we take care of the um the mound take care of the ants in the um, container and we're going to be good to go so just a tip got ants in your containers spinosad is the way to go so thanks for joining us we'll see you next time for another daily dose of hort